then we come and introduce other rules that school bus lazima zikuwe na flat bars kwa dirisha but we don't know what is the purpose of this flat bars yeah. in fact 90% of the school buses with flat bars zimewekwa when you high five na zimepita inspection why because ule jamaa wa inspection ameambiwa hii gari inafaa kuwa na flat bar but hajaambiwa mm. what is the purpose of a flat bar so you find that in case of an accident the passengers will die yeah why because there are no escape routes yes this you know there are two functions of a window actually three lighting aeration and emergency exit, exit. Mm. but ukiweka chuma hapa inaenda ikikaa ka nyumba ya kuku so in case of an accident how will these people in fact it harms you because sasa in case umegonga gari imeanguka na ime you know hizo mawires na protrude now yes. from the inside is it too they, they 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 can they can cause head injury yeah. again we are having very badly fabricated seats nataka wende uingie school buses locally yeah. fabricated mm. na matatu unapata kiti umekalia kiti iko na chuma hapa tu kwa, eh. kwa magoti yeah. kiti iko na chuma gari iko imepita inspection mm. right mm. but What happens in case of an accident? Injury. Up. Instant. Haya. Twende tu what kasemekana wacha gari ziwekwe roll cage. Mm. Vans. Yeah. But sasa umeweka roll cage. But no one asks, he roll cage is it fixed on the floor or is it fixed on the chassis because a proper roll cage should be fixed on the mm. chassis, not the floor. Yeah. The other thing is there any cushioning on that roll cage because if that vehicle rolls Yes it prevent the roof from crumbling down yeah. but if you happen to land your head on that piece of metal you are as good as dead umeenda so you see we are trying to put in features without thinking you know ndio nakwambia yes this is a good having these features is good na ni mzuri the, the, the good will is there yeah. but how we are there is no one who is educating anyone on how these features in afa kuweko mm. and also i think also our local fabricators have a very long way to go in in terms of how they fabricate the buses oh wanasema ni the more the better so wanamaliza wanasukuma kaende kaende wanamaliza una una jenga basi kama nyumba shuali you see ngumu and again it's good to sit down and and look at international standards how are buses built by companies like zongtong and you see mm. we have a very good relationship with the chinese yeah na zataka when you now watch ingia to online mm. just research on chinese buses yeah. see how good they are how light they are how safe they are but sisi unajenga bus na chuma such that in case of an impact that bus is Do more inakumaliza. over ndio inakumaliza <laughs> yeah. the other very simple thing seat anchoring mm-hmm. in case of an impact tunapata nini viti zote kwa matatu ama kwa school bus yeah, yeah. zimewekwa mbele why because they are zimechomelewa kwa floor ama unapata kiti imekuwa anchored na bolt mbili maji who who looks at who inspects how seats are anchored or is there a guideline how seats should be anchored yeah is it has it been communicated to the inspectors sababu mimi naweza kuwa nime pass legislation iseme gari iko na roll cage na iko na flat bars kwa dirisha mm. but nikiletewa gari sinaona iko na flat bar but hii hiki tu haijaniambia hii kitu inafaa kuwa imewekwa aje yeah So the goodwill might be there but the implementation, implementation and also I think it's high time also NTSA starts giving a, a listening ear yeah. to people who know a thing or two about cars mm. like start let them have consultancy let, let 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 people you see like for you you're a security consultant yeah yeah I think government bodies need to have consultants as well mm. higher consultants like wacha mtu akuje awambie no you're doing this thing the wrong way yeah you know kuliko kukaa tu hapo hivyo you're doing the thing the same way and expecting different results. yes 